McKenzie approach is a method of treatment that physical therapists uh, are utilizing more and more in today's world. Um, it's an approach that was originally invented uh, by a therapist named Robin McKenzie, and he was uh, a, a therapist that just by by luck or by chance observed a, a major change in a patient's back condition. Um, like a lot of inventions, it was almost by accident. Uh, he had a patient with um, sciatica and it was uh, debilitating and lasting for about 10 days um, and the therapist was not able to reduce the symptoms uh, with much success. Uh, there was one particular day where the therapist was working on a patient and this particular sciatica patient came in a little early so he had the patient go find a table in the back of the clinic and lie down but what the therapist didn't know was that the table was actually placed in hyperextension due to a previous patient so the patient was lying on their stomach in hyperextension and at the particular time extension or hyperextension exercises were considered a no-no in our field um, for, for I guess the arthritic reasons and, and, and just the research that was done at that time um, but when he addressed the patient who was lying on his stomach the patient uh, explained to the therapist that his sciatica pain was better his sciatica calf and thigh pain had reduced and abolished um, and that began his, uh, his uh, approach and his uh, thinking about what are we missing in the field and what are we doing wrong in the field because if this can happen why, why can't it happen to other patients so over a few decades he fine-tuned the approach and fine-tuned the approach to the point where now he has a, a classification system, uh, an examination system, and it's an it's a intense program, but it does allow the therapist to examine the patient a little differently and to utilize the skills that were taught by the McKenzie approach to uh, fix or, or try to help maintain uh, postural and, and mechanical problems in the spine um, that are occurring more and more these days with longer hours of sitting and more stresses at work and, and, and longer commutes, et cetera. Um, it does require a fair amount of outside training and it does require a, a fair amount of attention to detail, um, but it does seem to be working quite well in the field uh, of mechanical back problems and disorders. You're trying to promote the patient to be independent with their care. Uh, it's probably the hallmark of the, of the approach. Um, I think often patients are looking for some sort of a manual technique or a passive modality to relieve their symptoms. But uh, Robin McKenzie and the McKenzie approach believes that a patient can achieve similar improvement with, uh, with exercise and stretching. And if they can do achieve these, uh, these goals, it is very rewarding for the patient to know that they can do it on their own. It's, it's promoting an independence from the healthcare. Um, they, you do require you know, some care in the beginning to figure out what to do, but once it's figured out, uh, the patient is often uh, able to uh, tackle their problem on their own.